We are writing an equation from a table. This is just a quick little review video in case you forgot anything. Uh, in order to write an equation, and when we say write an equation, we mean write in slope intercept intercept form. And what that form is, is I'm going to write it down here, y equals mx plus b. If we remember, our m is slope, slope, and our b is y-intercept. So in order to write this equation from this table in slope-intercept form, we need two things. We need our y-intercept and we need our slope. Now, for our y-intercept, it is the y value where x equals zero. So what we are looking for, looking for, looking for, is x equals zero. So what we are going to do is we are going to circle where x equals zero. So I'm gonna look at my table and I'm gonna find the x, uh, the x row, which is right here, and I'm gonna look for zero. Oh my goodness, there's zero right there. I'm gonna circle it. Now, we point to the y value, which if we're thinking about it is the output when, and I know this is a little complex, it's the output when x equals zero. So it's the number right in front, right below it. If I plug in negative four to whatever this equation is, I'm gonna get eight. If I plug in zero, I'm gonna get six, so I like to draw an arrow to that six, and what that tells me is that this number right here is the y-intercept. It's a positive six, so my b, which is the y-intercept, is plus six. That is not a letter b, that is a six, I apologize. Plus six is my y-intercept, all right? Now, slope is rise over run, but we have to use that magical formula uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and you guys should be so well trained at this. We're gonna use our slope formula to find our slope slash rate of change of our table. So I can pick any two points that I want, all right? I'm gonna, I love zeros. So I'm gonna pick this point, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick this point. And I'm gonna say that this is my point number one, and this is my point number two. So we have y values on the bottom, y2, x2, y1, x1. Now, when we plug it into our formula, y has to go on the top. I'm, we've, we, we are still seeing folks mix up their x's and y's. y has to go on the top, x goes on the bottom. So you really, 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 really need to pay attention to where the y and the x value are on our table. So I'm gonna plug in here. Four minus six, y2 minus y1 over x2, which is four, minus x1, which is zero. So I'm gonna simplify here. Two, uh, sorry, four minus six is negative two. Four minus zero is four. And can I simpl simplify this? You betcha I can. Two goes into both numbers. So I can divide negative two by two and I get negative one. I can divide four by two and I get two. Now, make sure you pay attention to where your negatives are, all right? If, now here's a little cheat sheet for you. If you have a negative number over a positive number, your slope is negative. If you have a positive number over a negative number, your slope is negative. If you have a positive number over a positive number, well, that one's pretty easy, that's a positive. If you have a negative over a negative, that is a negative slope. So there's two combinations to give you a positive slope. There's two combinations to give you a negative slope, okay? so. Here we have a negative over a positive. So what that means is my slope is gonna be negative. And remember we simplify. So my m is negative one over two, all right? So to write my equation, I'm plugging in here. Y equals m one over, negative one over two x plus six. And remember, when you insert that into the Google form, no spaces, no capitals, just follow the directions. Rewind that if you need to for any extra help.